Welcome to Awaken Together with Christina. Welcome to Awaken Together with Christina, where I share my awakening journey with you. And we're going to dive into body, mind, and spirit wisdom and exercises. And today I was just kind of thinking about... Um, the power that we possess and we don't even know it. We are energetic, multi-dimensional beings. We have access to so much that we don't even realize. Like all the, all the things that you can imagine in your mind, there's another dimension where these things are actually happening. And guess what? We can tune into those realities. We can tune into those realities to match the vibration of that personal you, um, reality, dimension, however you want to put it, and attract those same things that that you and that dimension is living. And... um, a lot of people call it um, quantum jumping. And I've been really exploring a lot more of quantum jumping. Because um, it's very interesting to think about. There's so many different dimensional yous living the life of those different dimensions. Like there's a you who's a billionaire. There's a you who's living on the street. There's a you whose life is just a little slightly different than what the one that you're living in this dimension here, right? Like, so, uh, Bert Goldman says that there is a dimensional you basically doing just about every occupation, um, or, or not, you know, all levels, Uh, High vibe, low vibe, um, all the different decisions you could have ever made and lived out. It's a different dimension living itself out. And when you quantum jump, you just kind of tap into that dimensional you. And you can kind of merge with the energy of that dimensional you. And pick up that vibration in this dimension to start attracting the things that 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 other you is it's got going on right (laughs) so you might want to say if you have a goal of um let's say starting a health retreat right a spiritual health retreat um then you can tune into that i-dimensional you that's already achieved that, living that, and match that frequency and get guidance from that you. <laughs> so that's just kind of crazy and amazing. Um, and it's power. That's, that's um, creator being power because we are creator beings, right? Um, so I was just thinking about the the power of our thoughts, the power of our beliefs. And I was listening to Norval Goddard um, talk about like our, our thoughts are basically God's consciousness. It's Christ itself running through us. The consciousness is Christ like that's crazy <laughs> like Christ is running through us right but that's how this all makes sense right <laughs> we, we've just been put under this amnesia when we came to this dimension um, they say all for the purpose of rediscovering ourselves rediscovering who we truly are and rediscovering how to access this creative power for ourselves And to think about just all of consciousness that flows, the consciousness that flows through us is the consciousness that flows through everything, that that comes.
comes from God <laughs> and it's connected to everything and flowing through everything. And, and that's how you can create with your imagination and your senses and especially your emotions. And, and that's how the universe knows where you are and what to bring to you, what to match to that frequency because it's flowing through us. It is us, right? It's flowing through us. So it it's it's pretty mind blowing when you when you think about how it all works, um, who we truly are, what we're that we're all the same consciousness, and we're all connected, and we're all <clears throat> co-creating this this world um so once you really truly understand like the christ consciousness flows through your mind through your consciousness through your thoughts and it knows everything every feeling every experience every thought um you start wanting to really pay attention to what your focus is on because your focus your your thoughts your your energy vibration is always creating even the little even the little self-talk even the self-talk that you don't think is important it's very important very important um it hears it all it responds to it all it matches the frequency of it all so that self-talk is whew, highly 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 important so i just literally got so emotional about um like Christ consciousness flows through us <laughs> and there's no and if you truly believe that then man we really we really need to be using this mind power consciousness for good assuming good right Purposely thinking good. Anytime a negative pop thoughts up, we're gonna switch it. Switch the script. S switch the script. And that's how we become creative beings. Always believing and knowing everything is possible. It's just up to you what you're thinking, what you're feeling, what you're believing. Are you taking those guidance steps? Because Christ consciousness flows through us. So I just wanted to kind of share that because it's been really on my heart, um, coming through me strong. And, and I said, I want to share my awakening journey with you. So <clears throat> the other thing that I have been getting, um, a lot of messages and guidance about is self-love that's the other part of it is the self-love because when we have self-love you know we look out for ourselves we protect ourselves we have boundaries we do things that make ourselves happy we're kind to ourselves um, we have internal di dialogue that's kind right we we treat others with kindness um, when we're more kind to ourselves it's just a natural thing that comes out of us is more kindness because that's just who we are, right? When we squeeze the orange, orange juice comes out. <laughs> so um, start changing that inner dialogue to one of love, kindness, um, and acceptance. We, you know, we're, we are where we are and we have more than ability. We have more than we know. We have access to so much. So, and we are creator beings. We can change our lives to whatever we want it to be. 
we do have a dimension of time that we go through here. So it's going to be a little bit of a process of changing our thinking, changing our beliefs, taking those steps. Um, and it's going to happen. There's no other choice. If you just keep believing, keep your focus internally, externally, doing the things that you're guided to do and, um, big and small, right? It could be going to the park and just meeting someone who can help you to achieve that goal, right? Just living an inspired life in your personal and business <clears throat> so that you can just be more in the flow and the path um, of that highest timeline and let, letting go of the outcome just always believing, seeing it, taking the steps, having that inner dialogue to match that focus, that, that desire, and just never thinking otherwise, right? Um, acting as if, feeling as if, and, and doing it, just do it. <laughs> just do it, guys, just do it, <laughs> right? Um, so I love you guys and I wanted to share that with you because it's been really coming through strong for me. Um, and like every day I just get it more and more and more that when we imagine it in our mind with our senses <clears throat> and our emotions, excuse me, God, sorry, that's creating it in the energetic world. When you do that, you have created it. So now you just got to match that frequency with your mind, uh, your emotions, um, and your focus, and your actions in, in the physical world. And it has no other choice but to show up. And, and I am experiencing that more and more and more and more. And when I just really think about it, I just, I just literally just start crying. You can see I've been crying. <laughs> Because when you, when it just really hits you, and it's like you've always been told, like growing up, that you're, you're this miserable sinner, right? That, that, uh, has got to be forgiven and all this, all these lies. Okay. We're, we have free choice for a reason. <clears throat> it's not so God can come along and us over the head because we chose wrong man no um and then to to discover more and more and more that we're literally christ consciousness um flowing through us and creating our lives creating co-creating this world connecting every everyone and everything it's like <laughs> and just to know that you're connected and a part of that energy. Wow, man. Wow. Um, it's pretty great. So, I just wanted to share it with you. I'm an all over here. I've been crying. <laughs> and um, I just want you guys to know, too, like, you are a powerful being. You are a powerful creator being on this earth to create, create the life you want, to co-create a, a, a higher timeline, to, to, to shift this earth to 5D frequency. God chose you to be here, to help raise the consciousness to find this, to come back home to this knowledge that you are consciousness. You're connected to everything. We're here to experience and love and joy and raise this consciousness, but also to remember who we are and the power that we have. And it's time to grab a hold of that and embody that 
and start living that embodied life, bringing that higher self, that higher consciousness, more and more and more down into embodiment to this physical world to live this live out this life through us, with us, joined, helping the higher self, helping us, because it has the higher, it has the big picture, right? Guiding us and helping us to stay on that highest timeline to achieve those things that we want to achieve. Man, if we can just stay connected, we're, our, our lives are just going to be even more than we can ever imagine, I promise you. So tune into that, plug into that, and know you are a badass, all right? You're a badass. So own that shit, man. All right, I love you guys. Um, if you like this video, gained anything from it, please like and subscribe. And if you have a badass that doesn't know they're quite a badass yet, share this video with them.